Hi everyone, today I'm going to walk you through how to create a simple RSVP form that you can email to faculty, staff, students, and anybody else. Uh, unlike some other systems, this is actually very simple to create, and all of you with an SCU account have the technology ready, readily available to uh, do this right now. So the first thing you need to do is go to drive.google.com while logged into your Santa Clara University site. Now, if you are not, if you're just in your uh, SCU email, there's a little grid you can click and you simply click um, the drive button. It may be in a different place for you, um, but just click drive. So it'll bring you up, uh, bring you to Google Drive. And then the next step is to create a new form. You do this by clicking the big red button in the corner, new, scroll down to more, and then click Google Forms. You'll be taken to a new page where you can create a form, you can title it, and you can add questions. So let's start off by giving it a title. Let's call it uh, faculty launch RSVP. Let's pretend that we're making an RSVP so that faculty members can come have a lunch. The first question, let's make it very simple. Uh, are you planning on attending lunch? Multiple choice, yes and no. Done. And actually, I noticed something. Right as I click done, I realized that I wanted to change it a little bit. So if I've already finished a question and I want to modify it, all I have to do is hover over it, click this little edit button, and then I can make the changes I want. So I want to make this question required, so check that box and click done. That's my first question. Next, I want to know if they have any dietary restrictions or uh, anything else that I might need to know. So let's click Add Item, and let's actually click this drop down so I can choose which kind of item I want. So uh, let's go to Multiple Choice. Do you have any dietary oops, restrictions we should know about? And yes, no, and let's look for yes, oops, yes. Uh, specify below. Okay, and we'll make this required. And then we're just going to add a blank section where they can add just basic text, no question, uh, no text, we'll just click done. And so this way, uh, actually we're going to change it. I changed my mind again. So I click it, I open it up. Please uh, explain a dietary restrictions here done. We're going to make this not required because not everybody's going to have this. So we don't want them to just say, I don't have any. That doesn't really make sense. So we'll click done. And then uh, a few more things. First, let's click automatically collect respondent Santa Clara University username and only allow one response per person required to log in. And then uh, let's allow edit responders to edit responses after submitting. I always like to do that. Um, let's change the confirmation message. Just add a thanks to be a little more friendly. And I will click send form. Now when you do this, you have the option to take this link. You can copy it and then simply paste it in an email or uh, when you're including a link in an email, highlight the text, click add link, and then make this the link destination. And by doing that, uh, your users can um, actually easily come to this form, fill it out. So let's uh, send a form and we'll click done. Great. And then uh, if you click view responses, it opens up a separate spreadsheet with all the different questions. So you could say, here's here are the questions that were asked. Do you plan on attending lunch? Do you have any dietary restrictions? Please enter any dietary restrictions here and the person's username. So I'm going to open an incognito window and I'm going to paste the same link we copied earlier. I'm not logged in right now. I'll log in. And then here's my username, mrhall at sc.edu. Am I planning on attending lunch? Yes. Do I have any dietary restrictions we should know about? It looks like there's a problem. It's not showing the question, no, the answer no for some reason. So I'm going to go back to my form, click here, and I realize, oh, I forgot to add no. Done. Okay, we fixed it. 
Let's go back to our form and let's refresh it. Reload this page. Great. So here's my username. Am I planning on attending lunch? Yes. Do I have any dietary restrictions? No. And it's optional if I want to include dietary restrictions. I'll write none so you can see it show up in the spreadsheet. But let's click submit. And then I'll say your response has been recorded. Thanks, which is the message I wrote earlier. So if I want to go back, I can click edit my response. I can also use the same link to submit a new response. Let's go back to the spreadsheet and we can see, oh look, it's already been added. My username, uh, no dietary restrictions I'm attending, the time I filled it out. So this is really great. If you're looking for a very simple RSVP solution and don't want to go through the trouble of creating something in Eventbrite or Clara, then using the forms built into Google Drive is one of the most convenient ways to do it. If you have any trouble with this and, and need some help, please feel free to contact me. My email, as you can see here, is mrhall at seu.edu, and I'm happy to field any of the questions you have or assist you.